All right, y'all, remember when we talked about Little Nas X claiming he was going gospel? Well, he's back in the news for his new singles cover art. The artwork features Little Nas X laid out across a cross, and social media is not having it. Someone wrote, who does he think he is? How can you make fun of an entire religion like this? All right, now following this antic, the rapper posted a TikTok of himself chowing down on a plate of communion. Flame, you know the comedy world. Do you think this is funny? Do you think this landed? What do you think about this? Or is it, what do you think? You know my problem with Lil Nas X with some of his antics, because his music was good, especially his first song, Old Town Road. But he didn't leave with gay. His talent got him, him to where he is. But then after he came out, which is a lot, what a lot of artists do, after they come out as gay or pansexual or bisexual, that is their lead. Ger Gerard Carmichael was guilty of this exact same thing. Your talent got you to that plateau, but then everything is a gay lead. You know, I, his music is good. He's a good artist. I don't think he has to do all this sensationalism. And it's so sacrilegious, you know? And it, 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 I seen that picture and I was like, oh my God, are you worshiping God or the devil? It, I, I think he should rely on his talent and not all these pictures and all this foolishness, but sensationalism sells right now. So he's selling sensationalism. He's gonna get yeah. crazy backlash. Al, as our resident Christian here, what do you, what do these images make, make you, what does it make you feel when you saw Al this? is not a Christian. <laughs> I'm definitely a Christian and I'm a God fearing Christian. Let's be very clear about that. I don't joke, you know, I don't joke about that on this show, Flame, but because Claudia, that was a my, joke. You're not my, gonna, uh, I, I can know, see your cross. Not gonna I used to be uh, beat up for this, but let me tell you something. Um, I think we need to have a real conversation regarding Little Nas X and his antics. Like, you can't say that you're going into your Christian gospel music era, but you're telling people in the media to shut the fuck up. You're also telling people just because you suck dick does not mean that you can't get on your knees to worship God, that you can get on your knees to worship, multi I mean, that you can get on your knees for multiple reasons. These are things that he's saying, and plus making a video like that is just mockery at its finest, yeah. and it's silly. And I'm sorry, your music to me and the product that you're making is not good because you have have to put match every song with some type of shock value and crazy antic that to me devalues your ability to make good music son and if you think i'm wrong because i know you watch tgif little nazi because you're new too nosy and if you don't one of your friends do tell him this if you think that you can sell an album or sell a single without the antics, then do it. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is in her third week at number one. She had no real single, no official single, no official visual. Same thing with Beyonce and Renaissance, no official visual. Go without doing a visual, go without doing an antic and see how you sell, son. And then we can have a conversation and maybe you can come on the TGIF and tell me to show Shut the fuck up. Oh, Al, I'm, that was so aggressive. I think I'm turned on, Al. I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> but Lil Nas X is cute. Can we just say that he is a cutie to me? He's a cute guy. He's you don't cute. like him, Al? He's cute, he's but cute. his actions are dusty. Like, you don't need to do all this. And I'm sick. Of, and, and I'm not going to leave it to Lil Nas X so people can accuse me of some kind of homophobia, because it's not. I'm not here for the Kanye Wests. I'm not here for anybody that puts themselves on a cross to dare compare yourself to Jesus. Listen, I don't have to go to church all the time, but I have respect for the religion. And I just think it's whack. And I think I think it's a desperate, weak, lazy marketing ploy to get all the people riled up. And and then just to be disappointed at the music. Because, like, I don't, I, have anyone heard the song? Has anyone heard the song that this that this visual? Oh, yeah, I actually heard it. I heard you it. You like it? The, the, uh, listen, I can't get through the song because of the antics. The beat, he's he pays for great beats. He pays for good music. He makes good money. He's rich. He can get the best engineer to make anything sound, you know, nice to listen to. But if there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect because he doesn't sell me on the storytelling in the music. So, therefore, it's a thumbs down for me. <laughs> And you're all over the place. It was just Halloween that we reported here on TJF that he went out as a bloody woman's tampon, and now here you are on the cross. It's Wait a minute. What? Yes, he yeah, was dressed bloody... up as a huge. See, okay. I blame Lady Gaga for all that. After that meat dress, everybody just went crazy. Let me just think it. Hell. <laughs> this is one time that I have to agree with Tyrese. Tyrese said, and I quote, stop playing with Jesus. This is not the person that you want to play with in your career. 100% Tyrese. Right? Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> all right.